we have seen normal forms 1nf 2nf 3nf and dcnf while decomposing relations the decomposition must obey the additional properties one non additive or lossless joint property second one dependency preservation property non additive joint property means if we join decomposed relations that result should have same data as original relation means it should guarantee that no additional doubles in the result and second one dependency preservation property which ensures that each functional dependency which is already in original relation must be there in some individual relations after decomposing non additive or lossless joint property is very important it must achieved at any cost whereas dependency preserving property is optional it might be sacrificed sometimes let's see dependency preserving decomposition in detail let us assume we have relational database schema r with functional dependencies with set of functional dependencies f if we decompose that r into sub relations r1 r2 up to so on rn and let us call that decomposed schema as d in this d each functional dependency x determines y specified in this f of original schema r either appear directly in one of the relational schema ri in decomposed database schema d or it could be inferred from dependencies that appear in some ri means a decomposition is dependency preserving decomposition if f plus equal to f1 union f2 union and so on fn plus here f is the closer set of functional dependencies in original relation r and this f1 f2 so on fn are the functional dependencies which are in decomposed relations r1 r2 rn respectively to understand it more clearly let's see one example suppose we have relation r with abc attributes with functional dependencies a determines b q determines c and c determines c a let us call this entire set as f then closer set of this f would be f plus equal to all these functional dependencies f union from these two functional dependencies we can infer a determines c a c b derives c c derives c a so p can also determines this a p a c derives c a a derives b so c can also derives b this is the closer of this f so f plus will be set of all these functional dependencies which is the union of original functional dependencies in f and some more inferred functional dependencies from this set of functional dependencies suppose if we decompose this relation r into two sub relations r1 with ab attributes and r2 with pc now here functional dependencies can hold on this relation r a derives b b derives c a and functional dependencies of this r2 will be b derives c and c derives b if we take the union of this two f1 and f2 then we will get all these four functional dependencies if we find the closer of this set which is denoted with f1 union f2 with plus symbol now we need to consider this four functional dependencies means f1 union to union all the functional dependencies which can be inferred by using this four functional dependencies from this four we can infer a can determine b b can determine c so we can infer a can determine c here c can determine b b can determine a so c can determine a so if we combine this four with this two this entire set will be equal to the this closure of f so in that example this will be closer set of functional dependencies of original relation f plus will be equal to union of all these decomposed relation functional dependencies closer set so this decomposition r1 and r2 is dependency preserving decomposition means here we are not losing any functional dependencies even after decomposing this r into this two sub relations